Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial, and today I've got a small restoration project update for you guys. Uh, we were inspired to make this video from a couple of other museum ship uh, YouTube channels that have been putting out some really great content. If you like the stuff you're seeing here, be sure to check the links below to some of the other uh, museum ships that are putting out content. Uh, recently, the Minesweeper Lucid in Stockton, California, the Destroyer Kid in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and the Destroyer Escort Slater in uh, Albany, New York, have all put out some really great content, and be sure to go and check out their channels. Today's video uh, is about some of the restoration work that our volunteers have been doing in Chief's Mess. Uh, and this is one of my absolute favorite projects that we've tackled um, because it has a little bit of everything and it's still an ongoing project. Uh, so first of all, our volunteer core has absolutely exploded in the last two years since this channel started. Uh, many of our new volunteers came to us after seeing the work we were doing on the channel. So I really appreciate you guys' support, uh, spreading the word about us and deciding to come out and help. We could always use more volunteers. Um, skilled folks like welders, plumbers, and electricians are great, but if your only skill is interacting with the public or swinging a paintbrush, you have no idea how much painting and uh, questions visitors have that we could answer. Uh, so any help you guys are able to give is absolutely great. In particular, I really appreciate those of you who are helping with our uh, current transcription project with the ship's deck logs. And there's an email address in the description below. You're not from New Jersey, you can't come out and, and uh, volunteer on board. This is a great way for you to help us from home. So we are currently in compartment two, 204 2L, which is uh, sort of a vestibule space way back towards the aft end of the ship that's part of the chief petty officer's uh, quarters at the extreme aft end of an Iowa class battleship. So a couple of the birthing spaces are around me and behind me is the chief's head. And uh, that's really what kickstarted this project. Our chief's mess uh, was basically an empty room. And we brought in some of those god awful white plastic folding tables that I absolutely hate and had them set up in there. And it was an event space that we used and during encampments. Um, People would eat in there and, and you know, we, we used the space, but it wasn't one of the better looking spaces on the tour route. It hasn't been that well restored. Uh, so speaking of encampments, our encampment program has officially restarted. Uh, if you are interested in spending the night on the battleship uh, with your scout troop or your kids, your family, whatever the case is, there's a link down in the description below for you to uh, inquire about dates that are available. We've pretty well sold out Saturdays in, in uh, March and April, but we're still booking. So we found a picture of Chief's Mess when we took the ship over and it showed uh, in the background of this old black and white granny picture, some round tables. And uh, so we were wondering what the heck is up with that? We don't have those anymore. And if you look at this picture from Wisconsin's restored Chief's Mess, you see that they're rectangular, which is more similar to what you see in other places on this ship, like the officer's mess. Uh, so we were very confused. This, this ship's chief's mess was most likely updated during the Vietnam War, when none of the other Iowas were around, and then probably not updated much in the 80s when the other Iowas got their current configuration. So that probably accounts for the difference. Uh, but still, it was like, what gives? Why? Did my predecessors choose to get rid of these original outfitting materials? Um, I can't imagine that previous curators of the ship would have allowed them to be, to be thrown away. It turns out they didn't. And let me show you where we found them. It's a real weird place. So this is the chief petty officer's head. A head is a bathroom on a ship. For those of you who are new to nauto, nautical language, for those of you who are new to the nautical language, so back here in what looks like another stall is a compartment. It still has the original World War II tag over it that says that this used to be a 40 millimeter magazine 
for the aftmost 40 millimeter gun tubs. You know how Iowa class battleships have two tubs sunk into the stern of the ship. This space just aft of the chief's head, which is only accessed through this bathroom, was a 40 millimeter magazine. It seems like it was just used as a storage space after that. So coming in here, you can see that it is a series of rooms. And you can see this cutout in the overhead here, which is the 40 millimeter gun tub sunk into the deck. These spaces are off of the tour route, so they're largely unrestored. And uh, we use them just like the Navy did for storage. But in this small compartment right here, we found several tabletops stacked up. I'm like, oh, these are round tabletops. These must be the ones from Chief's Mess. It makes sense they wouldn't move them too far from where they were found. It also makes sense why we didn't know we had them. Um, so now we have the table tops, but we still didn't have any of the bases or the legs or however they were mounted. And, and the picture didn't really show us how that was until we found another space. So now we're back in 2042L, um, that vestibule space. And in here, there is another room, which is basically on the opposite bulkhead from the room where the tables were, but there, there wasn't a door adjoining them. And uh, let me show you what's in here. Again, we've got some more storerooms back here. If we keep going around that way, we get to the Nixie room, which was a towed anti-submarine uh, array that the ship was outfitted with in the 80s. Prior to that, it's where our crane machinery was stored. And if you squeeze around the dehumidification machine from when the ship was in mothballs, ugh, we come over to this room right here, which was added in the 1980s as the AFFF mixing station. This is the firefighting foam for the flight deck directly above us. And right here in this corner were the bases and legs for those tables. No fasteners, everything disassembled. So we had to sort of Ikea furniture it back together, but we were able to. Let's go see the finished product. So, here we are in Chief's Mess with the tables all reconstructed. Here you can see the bases of the tables and how they're mounted. There, there's two pieces of all thread in there that are basically bolted in on each end. And uh, you notice how the floor tiles here are a different color from the ones around them. Originally, like most furniture on the ship, these tables were bolted down. And you can see the bolt hole right here. So we know exactly where the tables were supposed to go. They sat right around here, and would have been bolted down. And at some point early in the museum, somebody decided to cut them off and uh, remove them so that this could be used as an event space. Um, anyway, the tables are freestanding without being bolted down. So we decided to put them back together, reinstall them where they're supposed to be, and if we host an event in here, we can still move these around because they're not bolted down like they would have been. We're not so worried about rough weather here on the Delaware. Now, obviously we still have these God awful white plastic folding chairs. Um, it would be more than my annual salary to buy the appropriate kind of tanker chairs um, to outfit this space. Uh, so we're still using these until we are able to get a donation of new ones or get a grant to completely restore the space. But uh, this is easily the most edifying part of my job, the, the part where I get the most uh, gratification out of when we're able to find original equipment and restore it back to where it went. Now you're seeing this project very early on. We've got the tables reinstalled. But obviously the, the original 1980s tabletops that have been sitting around in an unclimate controlled space are not in great shape. We're going to have to uh, replace those. The bases of the tables are just a little bit rusty. We've already got some volunteers who are gonna come in here and sand those down and repaint them. Um, 
we, we've only got five of the six tables remounted at this point. That's still something we're going to do in the future. Uh, seems like we didn't have quite all of the legs, although it seems like we've got most of the other parts. Uh, but that's something that's relatively easy to fabricate. And you can see the rest of the room is still a work in progress. Uh, so this is a partial success story so far. I'll update you in a couple of weeks and tell you that this is done and the space looks great. And, and it is, in fact, up to the standards of a chief petty officer, those senior enlisted leaders in the Navy. Now, one space that is a slightly larger success story is just aft of here. This is the chief petty officer's lounge, which uh, some of our staff and, and volunteers have staged all the original furnishings and then other stuff that we had in the collection and laying around. And it is currently set up with the film projector for a movie night in here. But uh, yeah, you can really tell that this is a 1960s wood paneling and mirrors and furnishings as compared to the much more modern space on, say, USS Wisconsin. What's a local museum ship to you that you could volunteer on and help out? There's a link in the description to a map that the Historic Naval Ships Association puts out that shows where um, a lot of museum ships, sp specifically warships, are around the world. See if there's one close to home that you can help volunteer on. And of course, if you're close to the battleship New Jersey, we would love to have your help on board. The support from you guys is what allows us to restore all these spaces and continue to open new ones. And it is my dream to one day have every door on the ship open to visitors. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, but also from businesses and private individuals like yourselves. Your support allows us to do the work we do here. If you'd like to leave us a donation, there's a link in the description below. Tell them what projects you want to support, whether it's the YouTube channel funding more stuff like this, or the Chief's Mess restoration project so I can buy some black paint for the table bases. or uh, if you happen to have about $60,000 lying around that you want to put towards buying a set of appropriate chairs for the Chief's Mess, let me know. Reach out to me directly. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about our channel and our museum. And you can support the wider museum ship community by checking out all of these other museum ship channels linked below and uh, supporting them as well by volunteering and uh, watching their stuff. Thanks for watching.